I have come back to Piano Camp because I just love it so much. This is my fifth year back. Um, I love being a pod leader. This is my third year as a pod leader. I just, I love everything about camp. I love the classes and the people, and I've made such good friends and connections I know will last a really long time. My best skills consist of baloney. Let's try something that is. Let's see. Let's try something. old when I started piano lessons. It was probably my mom's idea, but I, she just asked me if I want to take lessons, so I was like, okay. And I stuck with it, so here we are. Now I work here. <laughs> it's great to come here year after year. Since I have started, um, well, I would say most of the older kids have gone on and graduated, but for the last at least six years, I've seen the same faces, a few of the same faces year after year, so it's cool to see how they grow not only physically but musically as well when we get to hear them play each summer.
get home from school, what is your go-to? It was like a four-four. It was Brillig and the slithy toad. Did Gyre and Gimble in the wave. All Mimsy were the coral grove and the moon and as an elfish thought he came, the Jabberwock with eyes of flame came whiffling through the told you was and burbled as it came. One, two, one, two, and drew and blew the warble blade with fingers back and left it dead, and with his head he went to loving back. <laughs> you see the area where the plectrum is. Did you see that? Find another spot. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Adam. 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 Hi,
This year I'm teaching music and drama and composition. So this year I really wanted to get the students in a practice room composing. Uh, and so every day I brought in a new term that we went off of. So the first day on Monday we did a theme and variation. I provided them a theme and variation. They go upstairs in their groups and they composed off of that. Yesterday we went over ostinato and I broke them off into different groups. They went upstairs in the practice room and they just went with it and it was great. Um, in the middle of the week on Wednesday, I went into the more theory aspect of composition and I talked to them about mode mixture and explained how that works and how you can just basically create chords underneath a very simple melody. sure people check in correctly, um, everything goes smoothly, no one's running around the halls leaving the building, and then when they're all ready to leave, make sure they go out to the correct uh, guardian. Have you had any fatalities so far? Um, knock on wood, no. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, so here at Piano Camp, uh, I'm an aide and I'm also a pod leader, so pod leader is a little bit, uh, a little bit more laid back, you kind of just you're with a few of the, the students here on camp and you just kind of interact with them and kind of lead them in group activities and get to know them and stuff like that. And then AIDS is really where you have to kind of work with the staff and work with the professor. Uh, if time goes well, you'll have three or four more summers. You can progress from aid to junior faculty to oh. fully paid faculty. Okay. Would that be interesting? <laughs> <laughs> That's I, right. I see this That's and then, a, okay. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. five when I started my first uh, piano lesson with my first teacher. I have had two teachers in the past 10 years. Um, it was my parents' idea to expose me to as much, uh, as much music as I could in case that was something I wanted to do with my life. So I'm fortunate that I have many instruments to choose from. I really, I'm, I'm really a fan of Chopin and probably Mozart. I dislike Bach because he is difficult. But um, my favorite piece I'm playing now is the Chopin Nocturne in E flat major. And it's really pretty. It's very lyrical. And he incorporates a lot of the styles of the time in that one piece. And I just think it's so beautiful. The ensembles are so important because they give the students an opportunity to work together and learn from each other in a very unique way that you don't get really in your private lessons. You know, working with other pianists is something that we don't get to do very often. And by working together, we learn our own strengths, our own weaknesses, and how we can work best with others. I think this is an invaluable experience for them, especially going into the real world, in school, in the workforce. We have to work together. And just as humans, we have to be able to work together and help each other to create something. It was brillig. And the slithy toes. <laughs> so should I look at you or look at the camera? 
Okay. Do I look okay? Is the camera on? The camera's not on yet, right?